Why am I inverted? Where did this meth, uh, meth oxide come from? Hey, dude. Oh. Oh, hey. How are you feeling? Not good. What happened? You don't remember? It was insane. Hello. You're not a diethyl ether man. Whoa, dude. It's cool. I'm nonpolar too. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Right. But what, what about them protics? The protics? I hate them. Hell no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> attack last night from methoxide. What? Uh, it was so sudden. I didn't consent to this. Everything happened at once. It was concerted. I don't understand. Well, let me use this organic chemistry analogy to help explain. Mm. So, if this were an SN2 reaction, you would be 2-bromobutane, which has the bromine on the second carbon. And this is a methoxide ion, which acts as the nucleophile. He's like the guy who backside attacked you last night. So in this reaction, the nucleophile, which has a lone pair of electrons, attacks the carbon that is most positively charged because of the negatively charged leaving group. So it attacks from the opposite side as the leaving group, and the leaving group pops off as the nucleophile attaches, and it all happens at once. It's concerted. And you end up with this molecule here, which is 2-methoxybutane. Now, the reason you were inverted this morning is because the nucleophile attacks from the opposite side, and so the stereochemistry of the molecule is inverted. SN2 reactions primarily happen on primary and secondary carbons because the nucleophile has to get in under here and attack from the back side. So a tertiary carbon would be too hindered. Additionally, you don't want a strong base because it will react with one of the hydrogens instead of attacking a carbon. SN2 reactions also work best in a non-protic solvent because if there were hydrogens floating around, this nucleophile would react with one of them as a base, and it would use up its electrons and be kind of happy just floating around in solution. So you need a strong, unhindered nucleophile to react with a secondary carbon that has a good leaving group, and you don't want any hydrogens around to interfere. And that's what will give you a good SN2 reaction. Oh, that makes sense. Um, I have a question, though. Yeah? Well... What did I do wrong to deserve this? Well, you probably shouldn't be hanging out with strong nucleophiles anymore. You want to find some weaker ones. Okay, I, I could do that. Thanks, Shrock. Yeah. Rock. No problem. Well, I gotta go do some olefimetathesis, because, you know, I'm pretty expensive and a baller. <laughs>